Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And welcome back to Danganronpa 2 part 28. Oh my gosh. Chapter 5 continued. <gasps> Ahem. Hope's good morning every now then. Yeah. Okay. So Let's it's the same thing. Let's show some enthusiasm. Sorry. Greet another beautiful day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now. I should head over to the restaurant. Uh, another day, another I should head over to the restaurant line from Hajime. Who is uh, a very interesting protagonist comparatively to other Danganronpa protagonists. But he is. Sometimes it's just like... Alright. Can't All have right. a different meeting spot? Alright. Yeah. Chucky. This snot bubble gets me every single time. <laughs> really? I can't handle that. Hey, Chucky. Oh. Hey, Chucky. Mm, I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. Yeah, I'm totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while we were playing a game? Mm, there's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Um, last night, I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night. So maybe that's why. A weird dream? Well, it was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make falling monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Hmm. But no matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it, and the monokumas just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It's probably ugh, it's probably because we saw that factory where those monokuma goods were made. Oh. Huh. Wow, great translation, Hajime. <laughs> I guess we're done. So, I wonder if Chiaki is the traitor because she's tired all of the time. So she's like busy being a traitor at night. What is she doing though? <laughs> well, she never talked. All right, Akane, you get it. She never says why she's tired. This is the first time she's ever given any sort of like, oh, I was, I woke up in the middle of the night. I Maybe she just has, what is it, narcolepsy or? Or like she just doesn't sleep well. Yeah, maybe she like has insomnia. sleep apnea. All right. Yeah, sleep apnea can do that, or insomnia. So insensitive. I I apologize, folks. What? Nothing. Go ahead. I don't appreciate that. Go ahead. Yo, Hajime, check it out. I'm already eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, we might get locked in a place like the Fun House again. So I gotta eat when I can. Eat well. Shit, well. It's a great thing okay. to Now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Um, hey, um, I'm still eating um, here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. That's okay. I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little, you know, right? And of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Oh, are you? Really going to do it? Of course. I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? No. Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh. One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. All right! So that's the plan. What do you think? Um, um, it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You. So now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Right! Next, 
I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyuhiko and Akane. Oh, <laughs> yup, sure thing. Jeez, you're pathetic. Got no choice. You know, right? And the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who has to alert Nagito. Let me guess, Hajime. I'll get oh. that role to Chiaki Nanami. No way. I thought I was so smart. Huh? No way. <laughs> what did you say? So, I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey. Eh, it's going to be fine. And it's not like you're going to tie him up. You're, you're just going to lure him. Well. Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonia to take on such a dangerous role, you know? So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mahiru was here, she would have beaten you up. <laughs> you. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey! Didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh, probably because he hasn't slept in two days. Fine. All right! You're going to do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonya and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonya has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on chore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Bow down! Denied! Whoa! Whoa, why? Listen, if Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Miss Sonia? No, like I said, he has to supply the rope. You must not! This is not a request. This is an order. That is an order! An order, I tell you. There is somewhere I must go. Uh. <laughs> fine. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I leave that matter to your discretion. Good. Repeat that. Damn it! If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. To, to object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonia? Um, I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you say? You're gonna be alone with Hajime? At a secret place? Huh. For now. Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander gonna be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. They're gonna capture him first. Nah, they're gonna do it. I hope so. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. We still have one Monokuma left. Yeah. I think it's gonna be, uh, um, I thought I heard something, sorry. Oh. It's gonna be in the investigation, I think. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I think so, at least. Probably. There's been one in all the other ones, so. Yeah. Um, hotel lobby in 30 minutes, okay. <sighs> it's pretty refreshing to eat food by the pool. She's still eating. That was a wonderful little interaction. I won't forgive you. You can't. Your teacher can't allow this plan. That was a terrible monomy voice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can't. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you useless rabbit. You can't. No. I won't be quiet. I cannot this plan hey what happened man well that monomy bastard apparently heard about our plan i won't forgive you you can't your teacher can't allow this plan shut up shut up it's not like we want to do this we're just doing it because nagito's dangerous that's right he's planning to kill someone this is just self-defense i but i still can't ignore it i just can't allow my students to fight among themselves! Love! Love! <sighs> Shut the hell up, you useless rabbit! Looks like they're talking in circles. It might be better if I just leave them alone. <laughs> they keep shouting like that. I'm pretty sure Nagito might overhear them. He probably already knows. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Hajime, you are late. Huh? I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. I just like to point out here that Sonia was the last one to arrive to the swimming thing. Swimming. Beach day. So. Yeah. Just gonna. Just gonna float that tea in there. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is. Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then I guess it can be overlooked. So where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well, of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Shamrock Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Um, how should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was building, planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? Do you have a minute? Or what if their plan changed suddenly and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Well, was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Um, as I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mira, was inscribed there. If that's the case. That ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However, the discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that this ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgotten about it being locked inside the funhouse, but after being locked inside the funhouse, the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. So now, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. Definitely come with me. <laughs> then I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. Okay, well, mm, let's go. Let's go outside. Let's talk to Akane again. Listen to her munch on food more. Hey, hey. Hey, what exactly does Kazuichi do as a commander? How should I know? Well, in games, commanders are usually flags. Flags? Um, if you defeat the commander, no matter how many of their units are left, you still secure a victory. Even damaging the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's morale. As far as plans go, it's a pretty standard tactic. I leave that matter to your discretion. Wonderful! That plan has my seal of approval. Continue to target the commander. You're totally mistaking who, who to fight. What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? That is... You are right. What a shame. Shame? Kazuichi heard that. His rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet into the negatives. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. Okay. He well. did go a little too hard after Sonya. Well, yeah. You just can't blame her for not liking it's, him. Yeah, but wishing for his death is a little yeah. more than that. Yeah. That's a little bit of an overreaction. I would agree. Everyone in the comments wishing that Kazuichi would die. I am very annoyed by him, but I don't want him to die. I mean, same with Teru Teru. I know I got real excited about I it. I mean, but... I get like, if someone has to die, sure. Let it be your least favorite character, but... Wishing death upon someone is not... Yeah. Whatever, these are all fictional characters and they don't matter anyway, but... Yeah, but the way that we treat them... Ugh, I don't know. I don't want to get in the habit indicative, of wishing death on people. Indicative of our priorities, perhaps. Yeah. No matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Okay, well, the only thing to click on is right here. 
This liquid crystal display panel... Wait. Yeah, this liquid crystal display next to the door. LCD for short. That's probably it. This is probably the key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Didn't we establish this in chapter two, Hajime? Yes. Hmm. That was a long time ago, John. I guess Cleveland. it's just a rehash. We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well, if we make a mistake, it is possible that we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot at by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a, Be a Beatrice's nest? Yeah. Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? Yeah, you are wrong. In my country, we use the expression Beatrice's nest. But anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see, I see. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Nah, it's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. Alright, all you have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You are right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monami said they didn't know the password. If they really didn't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? Well... After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, their investigation consisting of looking at the same thing they looked at before and going, we still don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Sony and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. Is it free time? It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what should I do? Oh, looks like I, have, uh, I got some free time. I got some free time. What should I do? Let's head to the restaurant. We should go to the library. We might be able to find password stuff there. Don't worry about the password. You don't have to do anything to figure it out. Oh, look at all the dead people. I know, right? So Fuhiko, Chiaki, and Akane are all here. Um, Kazuichi's at the supermarket. So then Sonia is... Seeking Industries. And Nagito is at the Jabrock military base, which is odd. Should we go talk to Nagito? Uh, I don't think we can. Like, uh, I, I I think he'll just be like, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so that's where everyone is. Here's our hope fragments for everybody. So, Chiaki's, we've, we've got at four. Um, Sonia, we've got at three. Fuyuhiko, we've got at two. Kane at two, Kazuichi at three. Let's go talk to Fuyuhiko. Okay. Well, then he's just right here, so that'll be good. That's easy. There he is. Jeez. A capture plan, huh? Will they really be able to capture Nagato with such a stupid plan? What should I do? Should I do? Damn right. Huh? I mean, I don't mind. Ugh, I don't mind, but... Do you actually enjoy hanging out with me? <laughs> I, spent, I spent time today look, talking to Fuyuhiko about the plan to capture Nagito. Cool. Um. Oh yeah, we gave him non-alcoholic wine last time. You know, we got like 400 coins. We should get more gifts. We really should. But just, what's the point? Hmm. Yeah, because what would he like? Passionate glasses. <laughs> Passion. What's another hope? 
Uh, diamond. Right. Ubiquitous handbook. Uh. I don't know. That's a good question. What do you think? The gag ball. Let's give him... This is a good one. He likes that one. I remember that. Did we already give him that? No, we gave that to someone else. Oh. Let's give him the gold-coated sheath. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. I see. So you're giving that to me? That's pretty considerate. You make an awesome underling. Aww. Damn right. Hey, Hajime. Nah, never mind. It's nothing. Huh? Now I want to know. Shut up! What? Mind your own business. I'm just, you know, looking for something. Huh? I mean, shut the fuck up! It's not like I'm looking for anything. You seem strangely on edge. Jeez. Damn it. If I just had that, I'm gonna feel so pissed off. Someone's always at the supermarket, so I can't just calm down and go look for it. Damn it! Shit! I feel like I'm going through withdrawal or something. It's starting to sound a little dangerous, but this means there's something he wants, right? What in the world is Fuyuhiko looking for? Something sweet? I'm pretty sure this is wrong, but do you want to eat something sweet? What? How did you know that? What? I seriously got that right? If you tell anyone about that, I'm gonna bury you next to that mountain over there. You don't have to be so angry. I like sweet things too. Um, sweet things can calm your nerves, and they also nourish your brain. I don't know about that. I think they give you diseases. <laughs> if you overdo it, yeah. And they make you fat. So. Are you fat shaming? It's a <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Joking. Hey. <laughs> no. So. <laughs> Something to be embarrassed about. Shut up. But still, it'd be embarrassing if anyone knew that the heir to the Kuzuryu clan likes eating fried dough cookies. I like fried dough cookies too. They taste best when you eat them with milk. I think they're talking about donut-like things. It sounds good. I want to try bastard. it. Hey, you bastard! You never, ever say that again. Huh? Fried dough cookies? Don't fuck with me! No! The other one! Oh, milk? Mi Didn't you hear what I just said? I'll seriously fucking bury you! This is bad. His eyes look real intense. I've never seen anyone get so mad over milk. Damn it! If only my guts were stronger. Even I could have. Shit. I want to swallow it all in one gulp, you know. But. With my height. But. You doesn't have to be so hostile toward my. Uh, milk. There are other ways to get calcium. I don't know if this is a good time to say something like that, though. Yeah. You laughed, didn't you? N no, I didn't. No. You're definitely laughing. It doesn't show on your face, but I can tell you're laughing on the inside. All right. You... Damn it. I want you to forget this. Fuyuhiko mumbled under his breath as he walked away in a hurry. Well, that was an unexpected side of Fuyuhiko. Was it? When he talks like that, it's like he's a completely normal guy for his age. In fact, Oops, it might be dangerous to even think about completing that thought. Like, is he supposed to be lactose intolerant? Like, is I th that... I think so, and I think that being lactose intolerant caused him to be shorter in his mind. Because he's like five foot one. Oh. Yeah. I didn't realize he was... I thought he was like five foot seven. No. No, all, all the characters are shorter than... Okay what we think of as average height. Oh, okay. Because there's such thing as global average height. I'm just saying. Yep. After watching for you who could leave, I returned to my room. Looks like I have some free time. What should I do now? You wanna go to the beach? And get some new oh presents. Sure. Yeah, cause I was just thinking. Cause we don't need to go to the supermarket, right? No, we don't have to actually do that. Okay. Um. Oops. So I was thinking we could look to see if they had fried dough for him. No. 
Unfortunately, there's no cool interactions like that. It's just... Well, that's what I would do. I would well, go look for fried cookie dough or whatever. That's because you're very sweet, but ah! most people aren't. Most people don't give a shit if you want fried dough cookies. You can get them yourself. But it's fun to do nice things. Oh, that's cool. That is a cool little thing. Headphones. We got Bam. 428 coins. Jeez. What is that? I don't know. It's a little book. What is that? Bicycle seat. Oh, bottle. Okay. Mineral water. Uh, brooch on a necklace chain. Magazine. Yep. Picture? Occult photograph. Uh. That's what it's called. <laughs> Mineral water again? Look at this devilish number, 6666. <laughs> A Game Boy. Mm -hmm. It's it's not called that though. It's called like the Fun Plane or something. Oh my God! No more mineral waters. Ring. Scroll. Ancient scroll or something. That's that diamond hope. of hope. Yeah. Another hope. Shoes. Shoes. Sneakers. Skull okay. again. Odd. Glass ball. <laughs> Perfume. Perfume. Nut. Not the man's nut. No, it's not the man's nut. It's different. A little manga comic thing. Shirt. Crappy, edgy t shirt. Edgy? Yeah, rose wine. Jerky. <laughs> we have jerky. We do. Mineral water again. Knife with blood on it. Crappy Sturm Strang from Sweden. Rotting fish. Uh, weapon, Ninja Turtle weapon. <laughs> Another yep. nut. That's sideways for some reason. Crap picture thing. Box tissues. of tissues. I would deeply appreciate a box of tissues. Ring. As long as it's like super soft and has like a gangster aloe. ring. Uh, magazine. Easy. Uh, perfume. I give you the same ones. Yeah. Tea set. That's a tea set. I don't know. Uh, hauled out coconut. Coconut juice. Power glove. Uh, shards of uh, salmon colored glass. Why? Why? It's a, a whip and a vibrator. It's a crossbow. <laughs> Man's nut. You already knew that one. Arrowhead. <laughs> it looks like a gross piece of meat. Broken rocket ship. Toy rocket ship. Uh. Plus health vial. <laughs> Leaf detached from plant. <laughs> toast? To toaster? Toaster? It looks like a toaster with toast in it. Gag ball, we knew that one. We have like three of those now. Beer? Nut with sunflower seeds. Oh, it looks like beer. Headphones, duh. Easy, 2.5D headphones. Another Stupid hope. hope diamond thing again. Who cares? Broken toy rocket. We've already established that. Oh, your favorite dildo and whip. Yeah, it's not a crossbow. It's like disconnected on the side. Is it really a dildo and whip? I don't know. Twin dolls. Accordion book brochure. A map. Uh, wine. Is it a shot? It looks like a shot. Cherries. Clackers. Oh. Jerky. Ham. We're gonna do this 373 more times, folks. Get ready. This is the entire video. Ancient coin. There you go. There you go. It's about time. Yeah.
There we go. Red Ooh. Bull. Also known as Blue Ram in this one. Clackers. Uh, Squid. Reactive Core. Um, mineral Water. <laughs> toilet, toilet Paper. paper. <laughs> That'd be good for a Nekomaru. Crappy like a ukulele, ukulele shit. Yeah. Ro uh, civet coffee. Coffee cake? Can uh, cork. <laughs> Tea set. Can have a cork. <laughs> okay, that's good. I feel like we have enough to, to at least do things. No, will you just, I wanna look at the presents. I wanna look at what that crossbow was. I'm pretty sure it's a crossbow. Oh yeah? Oh really? Oh really. Not alcoholic wine is what it is. That one. Jabba's natural salt? How are we supposed to know that? Coco Shards of salmon colored glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. That's what it looked like. <laughs> Silver That's... ring. Wow, very descriptive. Thank you. Another hope. Jabba Jabba in jewelry. Huh. Jabberwock Island. Ogami Clan Codex. Oh yeah, the Ogami Clan Codex. Recognize that one on site. Lilienthal's wings. Oh, it's a model airplane. I oh. said I said bike seat. Is that what you said? I yeah, didn't catch what you said did. before. I know you didn't because you didn't comment on it, and it sounded ridiculous. And I was disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're like, uh, wait, was that a toaster? Was it a toaster? Message oh. in a bottle. A toast? I still don't get where you see toaster. So, this like the is brown the is the toast? Yeah, the brown is the toast, the silver and gray is the toaster. And there's two lines down in black in the middle and a dark gray bar above it. So, that's the thing that you would push down. See it? No. Yes, Sorry. you do. Uh, the second button Let's Moon see. Rock, not Arrowhead. Uh, Stardust? Japanese teacup, see? Oh, two side not. ukulele. Fuck off. Collapsible fishing rod. Not uh, a crossbow. Not a whip and dildo. <laughs> That's closer to a collapsible fishing rod than a crossbow. I would not agree with that at all. I think it's closer to a crossbow. Bojobo dolls is what these are called. Great. Mukuro's knife. <gasps> oh my god. Broken, broken warhead? A weapon of mass destruction found at the bottom of the ocean. Humans can still live without this. Okay, you know what? Let's give the broken warhead to someone. Let's give it to Nagito. We can't. Just mass destruction. We can't spend time with him. I know, I'm joking. You want, you want, I'm joking. You want, can I complete a sentence, please? I'm joking. Can I? No, no, you can't. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Fuhiko? <laughs> But we already spent time with him. Who do you want to spend time with? Ryu Hiko. Yeah, come in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe that's how you're gonna sound when you're an old cranky man. Oh, look at this. Instead of a young cranky man. Yeah, what? Moral. What it says there? Is that trash next to the window? I guess chip bags or something. Oh. So we're capturing Nagito tonight, huh? I should try to calm down and preserve my energy. What should I do? Should I buy you a Hiko bag? Huh. Sure, I don't mind. It's not bad. No, it's actually pretty fun. Aw, he likes us. I talked to Fuyu Hiko about random things over drinks. <laughs> he looks so mad there. He's like... Let's give him... Warhead. The broken warhead. Oh, give him the... Doll. Oh, we don't have it. Oh, we don't have it. The broken warheads. Wait on here. Oh, I just saw it. I think it gets up. Yeah, broken warhead. <laughs> what? Are you offering me dues? <laughs> you sure are rushing things. Well, you're just an average Joe, so you're better off just paying me protection money. Hey. Hey, Ajime. Is there any woman who's important to you? Chiaki. W what kind of question is that, Chiaki? It's fine. Do you have one or not? Um, honestly, I never seriously thought about it. Huh. Huh. You're such a kid. 
you did have one, I was gonna tell you to take good care of her, but I guess it's a bit too soon for you. Jeez. When you do have one someday, make sure you take good care of her. Don't be like me. Aww. I, I've lost two important women. Oh yeah. Pecos committed her crime because his little sister was killed. Huh? Whoa there, don't feel sorry for me. It's not like I wanted to make this awkward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if my sister was still alive, I'd really want you guys to meet her. You'd probably be shocked. If you put it like that, she must have been one hell of a sister. You. Do you know what my sister's ultimate talent was? She was the ultimate little sister. Isn't that funny? What does that even mean? The ultimate little sister? How is she an awesome little sister? Can you please not do that? Sorry. Is it loud? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's just I can feel it vibrating through the desk when you do it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. It's hard to put into words exactly. Anyway, she was definitely an amazing sister. She was always making a fool out of me, but it was always cute when she needed my help. Plus, if she cooked fried noodles during the temple festival, a huge line would form outside the temple. <laughs> and she got an insane number of contracts from hand towel companies, you know? She was self-centered, selfish, extremely arrogant, but even so, she had this subtle way of making people do what she wanted. So. She definitely deserved to be called the ultimate Yakuza. Within the clan, she was even called the reincarnation of my uncle, who was the most powerful of the Kuzuryus. The most powerful of the Kuzuryus? I'd like to know more about that too. Well, it's before my time, so I don't really know the details, but apparently he was known as the Overlord of the South. They say his final confrontation with the detective who was pursuing him nearly destroyed the world. Wow. <laughs> Well, that's obviously just a rumor. Of course it's just a rumor. That'd be outrageous if it wasn't. I... Well, anyway, she was a really annoying little sister who pissed me off. But even so, she was the only little sister I ever had. Even when a faction within the Kuzuryu clan wanted to make her our next leader. She said this. I don't want to lead the clan. The reason I'm so amazing is because I'm your sister. <laughs> She said that even though she was better than me at everything. To you, your sister must have truly been the ultimate little sister. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. Jeez. But still, when she said that to me, I couldn't accept it. All I could do was yell at her and say, You lead! I can live by myself! I... Just... How small was I? Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Why am I even talking to you about this? Huh? It's probably, you know... That harmless looking face of yours. Is that a compliment or an insult? <laughs> Who knows? Anyway. Well, anyway, sorry about that. I guess I got all sentimental and shit after all. I really don't mind. You think I look like someone who's easy to talk to? Then I'll listen to you as much as you want. <laughs> don't act like hot shit, you virgin. <laughs> I see. So you're not. Sh shut up! Ooh. Don't talk back to me so calmly! Even though it's happening gradually, I know Fuyuhiko is slowly opening up to me. Once again, I feel like I was able to understand Fuyuhiko a little bit. You don't need to say that at the end of every appointment, Hajime. Mm -hmm. Every appointment, he's like, ah, I felt like I got to know him a little better. Even it's though like, it yeah, was a terrible time, it. I feel like I grew a little closer to them today. It's like every free time event with Byakuya in the first game where he's just like, you're just a little peon who's going to be trampled under the soul of progress. Led by someone like me, Byakuya Togami. You, Byakuya, grew a little closer. It's like. No, you didn't. No, you he didn't. Yelled at. He's an asshole. <laughs> After changing the subject and talking with about other things for a while, I returned to my room. So he liked the warhead. Weird. Looks like it's starting to get dark. The doorbell. Is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sonia or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it. I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at this island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. And was stabbed. Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito? Why? Why is he here? There he pops up. <laughs> you, what are you doing here? 
You sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well, Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He's already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. Hey. And I want you to come to the lobby, too. Even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that. I see. Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. Someone like me. You shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh, well. Anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are gonna do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together. So let's go already. Fine, let's go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Yeah, Hajime. Yeah, Hajime, you're gonna outsmart Nagito. Let's go. Um, I don't know what you guys are planning, but like I said, I also need to talk to you guys about something. <laughs> Isn't that a strange coincidence? It's like there's something we both need to tell each other. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. <laughs> okay, Hajime. We're gonna take his freedom away. If Chiaki has summoned Nagito, then the plan has already started. Fuhiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> you're a terrible actor. Oh well. If you're gonna slow down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. All right, I got him. Um, what are you doing? Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up? There's no use struggling. But I'm not struggling. Huh? What, what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late! You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin! The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island! And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. What's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. <laughs> it's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now. And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island. What do you mean? 
That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. Actual... bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. Well, what the hell are you saying? If you do that... Of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop! Uh, are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... Wow. My, my, this guy. Emergency! Emergency! I'm totally shocked! Seriously, I'm totally shocked! That's all I can say about this turn of events. <laughs> the bombs I set are timed. They're set to go off in two days at noon. I prepared so many powerful bombs that the one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. Are you serious? Well, do you really think I'd go this far for a joke? You. Where, where did you set him up? Hmm, <laughs> I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Huh? Emergency! Paola! What in the world is going on? Is everyone all right? Hey, come on now. Come on, come on. Don't get in the way. Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Oh, uh, uh, Nagito, what are you planning to do? Do I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Why? Hmm? What does that mean? Hmm. Do I really have to say it? <laughs> ba -bum, ba -bum. My, my, you guys are totally eyeing each other and letting sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. If he blows up the entire island, that's going to kill way more than just two people. I see. You sure have a good memory. Like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right? But that's only when someone breaks that rule. Right. You can't punish someone for breaking a rule before they've broken it, right? That's right! Yep, say you're gonna break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad! So right now, there's no way I can punish this. W what the hell? You're so stupid! Punishment always happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? Hey. But even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting. It'll all be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely gonna be all right. After you said that, Nagita walked away. He just walked away. Couldn't even stop him. I felt afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go this far. <laughs> Nagito is so reliable. I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. <sighs> that bastard. I'll never forgive him. Damn it. Is he fucking serious about those bombs? Hey, hey! As long as the traitor comes forward, 
Let's say where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? Damn it! Then I'm begging you guys. It doesn't matter who does it. Someone just has to come forward. Hey, I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. But Agito said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really going to blow up the entire island? Of course! Would you like to do this one? Sure. <clears throat> motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at a bar and shouted, can I get a Sam? The female bartender happily answered, sure thing. It makes me so happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome. But inside, that woman probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone at a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Damn it, I can't keep up with this crap. Hey, Sweet Cheeks, get me another Sam! Huh? Not a Sam Adams. I'm obviously talking about a raw salmon. <laughs> and here's some good news for you. I have imbued, imbued? I have imbued the smell of vanilla into the Monokuma plushies. It's effective of aromatherapy and it'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future. <laughs> That's it for Monokuma's shopping corner. That's a hard voice to do. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Yeah. So, <clears throat> bombs. Nagito's Nagito. gonna blow up the island. Huh. He sucks. Yep. What do you think is going to happen, though? I think the traitor doesn't know they're the traitor. And that's what Monami was trying to say. Mm. So she's like... They can't come forward on their own? Yeah. They don't... They don't know! Yeah. I see. And that would be why no one's acting suspicious, except for Nagito. What else could they can't come forward on their own possibly mean, though? That there's more than one. Huh. What if they're all traitors? Hmm. Wouldn't that be great? Interesting. Yes. Well, I guess we'll find out soon. Or they're dead. But they're already dead. Yeah, that could, it could it could mean that too. <laughs> they just happened to get killed. It was actually <laughs> Byakuya and he just got killed in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the first one out and they're like, oh man, our traitor's gone. Oh well. It'd be kind of funny. Well, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Think critically.